how to choose the best Squarespace website template in 2021. Hi guys, today I'm showing you that how you can choose the best Squarespace template in 2021 to create your awesome website on Squarespace. So let's get started. Now guys, when it comes to creating a website on Squarespace, we want to choose a template that makes our website stand out and that will make our website look good among the others. And choosing a template on Squarespace is very important because we will be working with that. And when it comes to choosing the template, we often neglect this and we just choose whatever comes first or whatever looks good to our eyes. But we don't want that. So I have these amazing tips for you and different advices that you should follow while choosing a template on Squarespace. The number one thing that I would suggest is that ignore the categories. So what happens on Squarespace is that when you go to squarespace.com, you have logged in, of course, and now you're here to create a website. You see this when you click on template, you see all of these different categories right here. You can see that there is a popular design, all template, art and design, photography, food, entertainment, travel, home decor, wedding, a medical so all of these different categories have templates according to these niches but you need to ignore them just ignore the categories and why i am saying this is because okay let's just say you want to create a food website right and you will simply go on food and you will see all of these food category templates right here okay so these templates actually look good and they're like in the free version you will see all of these like maybe few of these so what's going to happen is everybody who is going to create a website in the food niche is going to select the food category and they will land on these templates and they will select this template and what they will do is they will maybe you know change some of the pictures and maybe the information but the main website will remain the same and if you do the same then every website will look the same and the clients will soon have a deja vu and they'll be like okay these all websites look the same maybe because the template is the same the theme is same so you know what just ignore the categories don't go what everybody is doing what you need to do is you need to explore all of the templates that are available on squarespace so what happens is for example even if i have a food blog i can just go ahead and select this template right here because with the new version of Squarespace, Squarespace actually allows you to create your own websites and it has a lot of options in which you can actually edit the text, you can edit the header, you can edit the footer, you can edit the background images. So even if you think at a point like you're making a website and there comes a point where you feel like, okay, I should have chosen another template you can actually make your template look like that because it's super easy. You have all of these different options. So don't go with these, you know, templates just thinking that, okay, I am in the food niche, so I'm just going to select this. If you are a photographer, okay, I'm going to select the photography template. Don't go like that. That actually limits your option. So go ahead and check out all of the templates and select the one which is good for your website. You have, you know, maybe you like the template now there comes a point now that which template you should go for which will look good now don't go with the template that you personally don't like and you'll be like okay this one is good i don't like it personally but okay so just go with, with the template that you love, that you actually saw and you was like, okay, this is what my website will look like. Go for the end goal, what you want your website to look like. For example, look at this template. If I open a template, you will see that they have already created this customized website, which we added on Squarespace, right? So you can see right here, this is the template that I selected. Now look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Just check out the preview of the website. You can see this is what their website is. It's looking actually pretty sweet and it's a kind of like a maybe a wedding invitation website. And so what happens here is that you can actually check out the look of the website that this is how the website will look you can see they have a gallery section then they have this section there are a bunch of sections and then there is a footer so you can you know get an idea of okay this is what the website looks like so go ahead and whenever you select the template before starting you know before you jump into editing the template 
just go ahead and get a preview that how the website looks on a desktop and how a website looks on a mobile view as well. So what you want is you can see that this is what the mobile view of the website is. So you can just simply scroll down and check it out and you like, okay, this is how the website is actually looking on mobile. Pretty good, but you can see that for now, when I'm looking this website on a mobile phone, now I'm just kind of like thinking that there is a lot of space that has been left. So what's going to happen is you actually get an idea that this is what my website will look in the end. Then you will get an idea that what areas need to be edited, what areas are looking good. And if you need to add a background image or change the background style and stuff like that, you'll get an idea. And I would suggest when you're creating a website, do get a preview again and again while creating a website you know so just you have an idea that how things are actually looking so that's actually an advice for you as well while choosing a template get a preview of the template and just check out how the website actually is gonna look because we want our website to look good of course because we're creating a website and we want our website to stand out so after that while choosing a template here's another advice that i, I would just give you that you know when you go to products on squarespace you will see this option of create a website and you will see overview award-winning templates blogging portfolios website analytics and so what happens is this is the mistake that most of the people do they're creating a portfolio or a blogging website but they still go ahead and you know just check all of these templates and start making those but if you go to you know if i can show you and let me take you to blogging you will see that creating a blog is different than creating a website you will see that creating a blog you will have you know different templates as compared to the websites and the criteria the settings for a blog will be different and some of the templates will be same of course but you know just go ahead and click on blogging and check out the different templates that are available in blogging because maybe some of the templates that were not available in other categories will be available in the blogging section. So, you know, just go ahead and check out that if you find something good in these sections as well. If you're creating a portfolio, definitely go for a portfolio. So, let me take you to the award winning templates. Let's check out that what are the templates that are award winning and that are the popular templates. So, you can see there's a category for award winning templates and you can see it's this one it's pretty good if when it comes to as i said that you know you can do anything with your template right you can create it you can make it your own so selecting a good template selecting a template that is already popular and people are actually you know liking it you can select that and then change it into your own don't keep it that way because that will definitely, you know, uh, kill the purpose that I already explained that we want our website to stand out. So, you know, go with the famous template as well if you want to. Because, of course, if the templates are good, they're like award winning templates, then definitely there is something good in them. So, what you need to do is select a good template and then make it your own. Simple as that. You can see again, there are different categories given here a blog, portfolio, online store, restaurants. When I said that, you know, don't check the categories, I didn't mean like, you know, just forget about them and if even if you're liking a something within your category and you'll think like okay maybe she suggested that don't do this but of course if you like a template in your category all i'm saying is that make your template your own you can do a lot with your template so selecting a good template actually matters and the good thing about selecting a good template is that then you will have a good website at the end just go with the colors that actually match with your niche as well for example when it comes to the food blog you will definitely go with the colors that are you know that represent the food that are making your food stand out for example look at this template for the you know building photography so you can see the color scheme that has so make sure to check out the color scheme as well if we go to weddings you will actually see the different templates have different color schemes so make sure that you match your color scheme that your text matches your color scheme of your template your background images or background a color that you have added into your template actually matches your theme of your website you can see the theme of this one is like 
orangish and look at this one the theme of this one is very subtle and very brownish and black so you can you know make sure your text and your images and everything actually matches with your website don't just add images that do not match your template so keep in mind that every template has its own color scheme and you check out the scheme and you follow it when you're creating a website and after that, once you will be done with selecting your template, then you will be able to create an amazing website on Squarespace because Squarespace has a lot of cool options for you. It helps you create your dream website right here. Now, I think this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.